This tutorial will cover how to create an appointment in the Outlook calendar. By setting your office hours in Outlook and syncing your calendar with Navigate, students will then be able to set an advising appointment with you in Navigate. After opening Outlook, locate and click on the calendar icon in the lower left-hand corner to access your calendar. It is recommended and easier to create appointments by viewing your calendar in Week View. Locate and click on Week in the Arrange tab to view accordingly. Use the back and forward arrows next to the date to scroll to the week or day you wish to add your first appointment. To create a new appointment, click once to highlight a time slot on the current day you wish to create the appointment. You can double click the time slot itself or click New Appointment in the upper left portion of the Home tab. When the appointment window opens, fill out the appointment details accordingly, including subject, location, and time duration. You must change the Show As field to Free. This will sync with Navigate and show your time available for students. Locate the Show As field, click the drop-down menu, and change it from Busy to Free. It is also recommended that you turn off your reminder for these appointments. Locate and select the reminder field and change to none. Stop. If an appointment repeats weekly, you will need to set the recurrence accordingly. First, locate and select recurrence in the options tab to bring up the appointment recurrence dialog box. Next, fill it out accordingly, including the start and end times, as well as the dates. You must select an end by date when the recurrence ends. Typically, this is the last day of class or week of finals. Please consult your department head for your department specific advising policies. After setting the recurrence, review your appointment details. Make sure the Show As field is set to free, the reminder is set to none, and the recurrence is indicated as highlighted here in red. Locate and click the Save and Close button in the top left to finish. Appointments with recurrences are indicated with a circular icon in the bottom right corner of the appointment slot. If you wish to change or delete a single appointment slot, double-click the appointment and be sure to select just this one. Any changes made will only be applied to that instance and not the entire series of recurring appointments.